reporting to you from the vintage cross stitch niche and the cross stitch covered in Fort Lauderdale, actually Wilton Manors, which is close to Fort Lauderdale. So we're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to do some Christmas in July. I am going to search for out of print charts and we're going to d dive into the fabric and see what linen is available and we'll have fun. All right, so I'm going to turn this around. Oops. Sorry, my hand was in front of that, not too professional. <laughs> All right, let's look and see. We have Christmas in July. As you can see, there's Christmas everywhere here. Let's begin. I'm going to delve into this to show you different different charts and things. First, there's a huge tree. Well, I don't know about huge, but a tall tree filled with ornaments. Let's look at some of these ornaments. I think a lot of these are from Just Cross Stitch. If I recognize them, I'll let you know. This. this tree is going round and round and we're looking at all the different ornaments finishes the people that work here for the most part did a lot of these I think Mary did a lot of these I like that one with the tree I'm trying to you so you can see all the ornaments that was the night before Christmas I've seen that chart before I forget who it is uh, maybe maybe I don't know I'm sure somebody knows it's gonna watch this that little church thing is very cute so first and foremost if you're gonna do Christmas in July a tree is a great place to start. Let's look on this table. We've got some interesting finishes. This is a vintage style. Uh, this would actually be used for fish. Uh, that would be a fish pan. And this is a very pretty finish in there. This is Happy Christmas by Bent Creek. It's nice that a lot of these are labeled. Oh, this ornament I definitely have seen. I have it, actually. I have that chart. Christmas in Williamsburg. This beautiful little teacup finish in a lovely Lennox. I know this is Lennox cup. Christmas time. This is Needlework Press. I think it is anyway. This is called Rest Stop Leaflet. Let's go through our Christmas. Let's try to get as many as we can in this video. Let's look at this one. This is called Joy to You by, oh, this is, uh, Hmm. It's a little kit. And let's look at these finishes. This is on that petite point fabric. I really like this fabric. I own one small piece of it. That is Home for the Holidays by Sue Hillis. Look how it's finished. It's finished on this container. How cute. This is, it says Bottom Heavy by Cherrywood Designs, done in a, in a block. This is Ribbon Candy, oh how, how adorable, Oop. Ribbon Candy, it's a, done by Calico, Oop. Calico 
crossroad. Okay. We've got this Santa here. The Santa is done by Cricket, cross-eyed Cricket. And this is Mrs. Santa. Oh, she's so beautifully stitched. Also by cross-eyed Cricket. Some little ornament-like things. Here's a Hanukkah one. There's Happy Everything. I don't think I've ever seen so many buttons. And that says iMag. I'm not sure what that means. Here is a Santa with a lighthouse. And I can't read it. Let's see, that says imaginating. Okay. This lovely bag finish, how cute that is, is done by Val Stuff. It says, snowman short and snowman tall, snowman fat or thin. It's called Sno Snowman Tall by Val Stuff. All these charts are available here. If you see anything, uh, call Karen and she'll hook you up. This is Jingle Jingle by Primitive Hair. I love these little pom-poms. Oop, can you see? It's a little dark, I'm sorry. Jingle Jingle by Primitive Hair. This is a cute frame. Cold Hands by Lizzie Kate. This is Tiny Tidings 8 by Lizzie Kate. Look at the frame. The frame's fabulous. And I, I think that's done on Ada, actually. This is another cute frame. Will work for freezer space. Who is that by? Quick and Frosty. I'm not sure who that's by. And then you've got... This is Homemade Memories. Also by Lizzie Kate in Tiny Tidings. Lizzie Kate is not designing anymore, but their charts are reprinted and available. Holly Hearts. I can't read that. Uh, by Mill Hill. Uh, on Christmas Morn, Love Was Born. So nice. By Lizzie Kate. Okay. My arm is hurting me from holding this, so I'm going to go down here now. Okay. These are cute. These are little bibs that you can cross stitch, and they're made for wine bottles. I, there's a wine bottle around here, I'll show you. This is the alphabet. And who is this by? It is by JBW. So cutely finished. You could do this yourself. Or you can have a finisher finish it. They, I, I do about some of these small ones I do myself. Most I bring here, actually. This is Christmas Calories Don't Count on this unbelievably great green linen. It looks like that linen looks like, uh, picture this plus some, some sort of linen. And this is... Christmas Colors by Amy Brooken. That linen and that that finish makes it. The finish often makes it. If it's not finished well, it just doesn't look right. That Season's Greetings pillow, just hang it off the wall there. Here you go. And that is by Bent Creek. Unto Okay, then you've got this little kit here. This is really nice. This is a Let It Snow Globe. It's a Krennic kit. It comes with everything you see there to finish that. Very cute. Christmas calories don't count. I think who this is by is on the back. No, it's not. I'm not sure who it is. But Christmas calories don't count. 
Unto us a child is born. Tiny Tidings, once again by Lizzie Kate. Another ornament. Some of these ornaments are from uh, Just Cross Stitch Ornament Magazine. This is Lizzie Kate, though. That is a sort of an avant-garde piece. By, it's a free graph with purchase of button pack. It's a very interesting piece. Uh, this is a oh, snowman. Four different snowmen. Photo boots by Bank Creek. Okay. okay. Then come let us adore him. I believe that's Lizzie Kate also. Let's see if I can narrow that. Yeah, Lizzie Kate. I have this chart. I've always liked this by Bent Creek. In fact, I like the way it was finished on the paper. I like everything about this. This is called Tiny Nativity by Bent Creek. I have this chart. This would be a quick stitch, and the way this is finished is perfect. I want mine done just that way. There's another little nativity piece here. This is called Christmas Blessing, Blessings by Needle Bling Designs. There's a cradle made of popsicle sticks. Isn't that creative? Okay. Oh. This says new, love is in the air. So it must be new. By Country Cottage Needleworks. Once again, finished so beautifully in this really nice chart with the fabric. I love beautiful finishes like that. Hiding behind here is this one, my favorite time of the year. I am sure this is Lizzie Kate. But look how cute this little box is. It's got some sort of uh, foam in there. This is a jar, a jar lid. This is a spice jar. Winter alphabet, once again, Lizzie Kate. Every time I walk in here, th these areas look completely different. It's like, it's like I've never been here before. I see stuff I've never seen. This is one of the months, January. This is a flat fold finish by Joy, uh, Heart and Hand. Okay. I can start going up the wall again now that my arm is feeling better. Merry Christmas by the drawn, uh, excuse me, Good Tidings by the Drawn Thread. I have this on my wall and I did this one. And this comes with a, uh, a little finishing pack with those buttons. It's fabulous, it's beautiful, it was a quick stitch. I did it with the called four threads. Mine looks very much like this one. And we've got that Santa there by Mill Hill. We've got this one called Gifts of Friendship by X Appeal. Shall Not Want. And then we've got this amazing God Bless Us Everyone. And that is by primitive hair and actually I know the person who did this because <laughs> that was a, uh, I did this one, that's me. I'm so happy to have it on the wall here. I just love it. That's on her, um, that's on the primitive hair linen. I think it's on, I don't know which one. I don't remember. It's a Wonderful Life, which is one of my favorite movies actually. This is by, Waxing Moon designs. Dear Santa, we got cookies. That finish is fabulous. The, the frame makes it. Lizzie Kate, it's a good thing I have a, uh, a zoom on this camera because otherwise I wouldn't be able to tell you any of this. Dear Santa, I can explain. Great finish, another one. Just seeing these finishes I think is worthwhile. Uh, Lizzie Kate, 
And this is SR frame. I don't know if these frames are made anymore. Uh, two very nice trees. One is a button tree by the drawn thread. And this is Joy, Peace, and Love, Love by Country Cottage Needleworks. Another button tree by the drawn thread. I think it's the same chart done in a little different way, different colors. Santa's Wish List by Lizzie Kate. Christmas Motif Sampler. Yes, ma'am. By JBW. Yes, ma'am. Interesting fabric. This no, is a Brenda I, Gervais I have piece. Ordered it, but I forgot the, the name of it. It's relatively long new. Shipping from the distributors Isn't that they cute? Are so so we, Let me get you a. Yeah. No, Look how I'll, cute that I is. Don't get you, I will either leave a message and Time to I go down again. My hand's killing me. I will keep calling you, I promise. Oh, you. it's a jingle out there. The That's Lizzie Kate. I, I did this one too. This is they May Your May You Never Be so Too bad. Old to Search the Skies on Christmas skeleton, Eve. Skeleton crew, so. This is my needle billing designs. Don't Everything. eat, drink, and be merry. And locally. Waxing yes. moon. Red work. No. No, we are. Noel we are by IMAG. Operating under a different circumstances, and I, I tell you, as soon as it comes, I will call you. I'm so sorry for the delay, but peppermint I just... polar bear by Artful Offerings. Look at this teeny tiny over one finish. Yeah. How cute is well, that? I'll call it's you beautiful. As soon as it comes, hon, okay? What is this? All right, bye bye. JBW, oops. here we go. JBW Scandinavian or ornaments. I think that's over one. Yes, it is. Here you go. Sorry about that. I think this looks better in person. I'm sure it's going to. This is done on paper. I really like the ones done on paper. Bookseller. I don't know who this is by. I'm going to have to pick it up and look at the back. I don't know. This is a Merry Christmas Wish. I forgot who this is by. It's not labeled. Very cute in that little tray. Okay, here we go. And this is on some interesting, I think this is called Yuletide uh, Fabric, December by Joyful Journal. Listen guys, don't ever take your your vision for granted. I had vision issues this year. Had to have surgery twice. Thank God I can see. I wouldn't be able to be a surgeon if I can't see. This is Holly Jolly All Year Long. I believe that's by Amy Brooken. I believe so. This is by Shakespeare's Peddler. I have this one kitted up. I don't think I have fabric for it, but I have the, uh, in fact, I know I bought the chart here and the floss. I've always liked this one. I've seen multiple people do it and it looks fabulous. Shakespeare's Peddler called Chris Christmas, Christmas Land, Christmas Land. This is quite a blingy one. I don't know. I'm not sure who that's by. And we've got ornaments, and I know, I'm pretty sure these are, that's from hands-on designs, those ones on the black paper, on the black, excuse me, linen. And some of these are from Just Cross Stitch. See if I can get them. I love how they're on this old, they're sitting on this old, uh, grungy-looking window. Let's see. I'm going to go down a little. Once again, my hand is hurting. This big finish, isn't that gorgeous? That is Santa of the Forest by... Who is that by? Well, I can't reach back there, so let's see. Lavender and Lace. I mean, 
That's magnificent. Look at all that solid stitching. I would never do it. And I really admire people who do. I love the, the owl on that Santa. I love everything about that. More little itty bitty for ornaments. Down the chimney, he comes on this red fabric. It's real cute. Okay, let me back off here for a minute. We'll go down here, and the reason is my arm is hurting me once again. <laughs> There's that bib I told you about before for the uh, for the gift, lovely hostess gift. Here's a cute little chart from Val's little stuff. Ho, ho, ho. I love the cat sticking out of the stocking. My cat would never do that. He'd have a fit. This is by Telen Emblem, this chart. I don't see the finish here. I just see the chart, but I've always liked this one. I think Telen Emblem has very interesting designs. They're sort of modern and they're sort of not. That's what I like. I would love to see that one finished. Here are the bells. What I like about this one is the ornaments. That's a quickie too, and I love the font. This reminds me of an old card. And this is done by Hands-On Designs. Look at the back, look at the finish. With this cool velvet and the buttons and the, the patchwork. I'm sure Mary did this one. Yep. I knew it, see, it's so creative. Mary works here. And she's very creative at her finishes. She's good at, go, like, she'll go to Hobby Lobby and buy interesting things to make finishes out of and put nice fabric behind them. And she's incredibly talented, incredibly talented. All right, I'm gonna try to go up to the pillows if I can. They're kind of high up, so I'll do what I can. Um, this is Jingle All The Way. I don't know who it's by. Joy to the World by Twisted Threads. That, Three Wise Men, I don't know who it is. Uh, one Wise Men, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. It's, it's stitched on black fabric. I gotta tell you, that's hard. By Stony Creek, Tis the Season. And that's the, uh, the star, Star of Bethlehem. Happy birthday, Jesus. Home, uh, homespun, Holy Night by Elmo Lynn. Uh, that is a very, very beautiful stocking. I would love to have that stocking or give it as a gift. This stocking is by French stocking JBW. JBW has some really cool stuff. All right, let's move this way. There's that Merry Christmas. I'm pretty sure that's by Cross-Eyed Cricket. In fact, I know it is. I'm not going to be able to get there. If I can't show you, I can't show you it is what it is. Oh, I did this pillow. If anybody's watched other videos, you'll see this one is on my couch. That is Letters to Santa by Brenda Gervais. I did this pillow. My pillow looks a little bit different than that one, but pretty close. Let's go this way, because, all right. There's God Bless Us Everyone by, I can't read, who is that by? Cricket, Cross-Eyed Cricket. And we'll just go through these pretty quick, just because my arm is hurting and it's hard to do this. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. I like that a lot. It's what a Scandinavian look to it. Cross-Eyed Cricket once again. Here you go. The pillow is Hearts Are Home for Christmas. Okay. Let's pan out of here. That was hard to get those up there. 
Now we can, we'll go back, as you can see, I'm panning through the chart. There's just so much stuff in the store. So many cute items. I know I showed you all these tools from before. I'm sure I'll find more. I walked out with stuff. I think I want to, if she has any of those cookbooks, I think I'm going to get one of those cookbooks today. We'll see if there's, this is all the model ch uh, charts. As you can see, she has them all separated. Christmas models, which means anything you see on the wall she has. But I know there's out of print stuff. She also has a few of the uh, back, back, back editions of the ornaments for uh, just cross stitch. I got to tell you, these back editions um, have better, in my opinion, have better designs. For whatever reason, they don't work with the most popular designers anymore. They use the same designers over and over now, and uh, they they really don't uh, they don't do a good job. I should I'm probably missing a few of these. I should have I should next time I come in I'll see what she has versus what I have. And she has all these samples, and I know she has a, a ton of charts. So what we're going to do is go to the char chart area. This is just these charts are just for the samples. We're going to go to the chart area, and we're going to look through some of the charts. Oh, here's another tree. Ah, oh, I missed a tree. This is a small tree with a bunch of designs. These are by Fox something. I forget. I did a whole bunch of these, and I gave these as gifts to people. In fact, I had little labels that said, that said made by Natalie with love, and I put them on the back, and everybody thought that this was the best gift ever, and they had worked so hard on it, and these all take one night each. Easy peasy to make, those little sleds. And as you can see, there's quite a few little... You ask about out-of-print samplers, yes. and that's this... Those are all the out-of-print? Perfect. Out of print samplers? Long out of print samplers. Perfect. Excellent. So somebody, you, there could be somebody looking for one that all of a sudden is like, oh my God, she has it. This is Good Cheer Cold Beer. This is on a, uh, on a, ca on a beer top. <laughs> that is cool. And there's all kinds of, oh, here you go, Foxwood Crossings. I couldn't remember the name. Here's those little designs. I'm just going to show you a few of them. I, uh, I made them. I still have the chart of the ones I made. And I made a whole bunch of them. And, uh, and now uh, I probably should get another chart and make some more. These were the nicest gifts to bring to somebody's home around Christmas time. Everybody loved them. And he oh, look, here's all the, here's what they look like. They come in brown, which is what I bought. And they also come in white. And apparently Sue Hillis... I didn't even know she had this, but Sue Hillis has a lot of um, has a lot of these as well. These are real cute, different style, but just as nice. So, oh, there's a big sled here too. I'm not sure what goes on there. Oh, I could tell you what goes on there. Some of these these larger designs. So there's little sleds, there's big sleds. Here's, an, here's a big one. And uh, these, are, these are amazing. How much do they cost? I forget. Let's see if I can find the price. $6.50. I mean, for $6.50 and then you do these designs on the sleds uh, with, with paper. Like this one. I did this one actually myself. You do it on paper and glue it on. For less than ten dollars, really, you've got a, a really nice gift for somebody—an heirloom gift. And what I like about this one is that little trim on the uh, around the edge of the sled. That's a good idea. That just really made that design. So, if you've never done these, if you've seen pictures of them, the pictures do not do this justice. These are great. They're great little designs. Look at these cute little tart things, too. I love them. My mom made jello in these when I was a kid. This is like five bucks here. There's a ton of charts just made for those, uh, I'm sorry, designs made for those. 
those tarts. And here's for the Franny Ritter. Here is your here's your top that goes with it. And you can paint it. Looks like this one was spray painted. And you have your cool for your beer lover. I didn't even see those. Okay. So I'm going to go to the Christmas section over here because these are ones that she doesn't necessarily have models for. And there's some great stuff back here. Oh shoot, let's see. I'm going to have to move. She's got a light here, a bunch of bags. I'm going to move these. All right, let's go through these if I find anything interesting. That's so many. Let's see, I'm not, I can't possibly go through all these, but let me see if I find some interesting stuff. Uh, let's see, gingerbread nativities. Oh, nativities. Let's, let's go through the nativities and see if we what we have. Hold on, those are gingerbread. These are the nativities. Okay. Let's go through these and see. Uh, Stony Creek, Bethlehem, Silhouette. It's lovely. Solid stitching, though, if you can find fabric that's got movement like that, and I'm sure you can, or you could make it. It would be a lot easier. Silent Night by Mill Hill. We Will Adore Him by Sandra Sullivan. Homespun Elegance, who's a very nice lady. I've spoken to her few times. I like the squirrel. Okay. The Newborn King. This is by Leisure Arts. This is an oldie, but still a goodie. Mary with her child. Nativity Silhouette. This is actually from a magazine. She will sell you these magazines, too. This is an older magazine. Here's another. Here's just a gingerbread one, but I think these are the gingerbreads. These somehow got mixed in, and I'll fix that for her. Uh, June, Greg. I'm sure this is out of print. The Nativity. Another Nativity by Sandra Sullivan. A Jim Shore. There are people that just do Jim Shore. Here's one by Serendipity Designs. Positive these are long out of print. Uh, let's see, Table Topper by Dutch Treat. That's a lot of work, but awfully beautiful. Oh my God. And finally, here's Silent Night, Holy Night by Leisure Arts. I'm going to put these away after I'll resort them because apparently they're resorted. Oh, let's see. Calico Confectionery. I did this one, Mary Yule. Let me tell you, it comes out beautiful. Let's see, we've got Nutcrackers. We've got 12 Days of Christmas. Have you ever seen? I mean, there's so many charts here. This is a retro Christmas cross stitch. I don't know if you've ever seen this magazine. It's pretty cool. It's got sort of mid-century modern things. Look at that. Once again, a retro Christmas cross stitch. Just to go through this, if I can show you what these projects look like. They're, they're all mid-century modern, sort of looking. Let's go in the back. Pretty cool, huh? I'll have to put that back after. Let's see, I'm just going to thumb through this, see what we got here that maybe you've never seen. Uh, Winter in the Forest by Nan, Nan Lewis. Quite beautiful. I mean, I can't imagine how gorgeous that is finished. I wish I could see this one finished. Look at the beautiful beads it comes with. That's especially nice. I really like that. How much is that? Let's see. Let's look at a price. I don't see a price. Of course. 
$18 because it includes and it includes all those beautiful beads um, there's a bunch of Glendon place I'm just trying to find things maybe you've never seen before this is Sue Hillis wintry mix my god look at that those are awesome that is a beautiful Sue Hillis design I mean who knows what I'm going to walk out of here today with Christmas under a tree. I'm looking for stuff out of out of print. Um, this is not out of print. This is Margaret and Margaret, but uh, I did this one in a very, very almost overly done retro way. This one is Joy Banner by Jeanette Douglas. Hi, Joy. I've personally never seen that. I, I'm only doing appointments. What is it that you need? Elizabeth, uh, Christmas Spirit Sampler. Joyous Noel by Elizabeth's Designs. ABC Samplers of Christmas. Christmas Gingham. My Big Toe, there's a whole bunch here. Once again, I'm just looking for stuff that maybe you've never seen. Merry Winter by Threadwork, Threadworks Primitives. Christmas Memories Alphabet Soup Series. A lot of these I've never seen for sure. Oh, this is Mosey and Me. Merry Christmas by Carriage House Samplings. That's very pretty. I could make fabric for this that would look fabulous. Oh, we're just going looking through this to see if I can find anything. 12 Days of Christmas, Quaker style. Oh, I just showed this on the page. This is by Ori TM. I love these. I really love these. I didn't know she had this here. You have to look through this stuff. I'm telling you, there's such amazing things. The stitching parlor, look how simple that is. Merry Christmas, but elegant and beautiful. And very, uh, very prim. Oh, let's see. Stitch with Sudbury, a bunch of these. Again, let's look for interesting things that you've never seen, I'm sure. Advent calendar and petite ornaments. JBW. I'm not going too quick. There's so much I want to show you. Oh. This is all Halloween. That's for another time. There's a lot of stuff I did not show. So let's see what we got. Button and border snowman. I've never seen that. A lot of Stony Creek. Nashville exclusive. The Stitch Works. Willie. Just a lot of stuff here. A lot of Santas. A lot of Santas. Nativities. We just went through. Shepherd's Bush. Bent Creek. Angels Among Us, beautiful angels, folk art, DMC Christmas inspirational ma masterpieces, beautiful formal things, my god, look how beautiful they are, always amazed at people that can do these, all right, that was a good Christmas in July. Who knows what's going to be seen once we hit Christmas. I'll take a peek and see the new stuff in case there's any Christmas in the new stuff. Uh, next, what we're going to do is go through the linens and see what she has left. There's an entire box of linen here. And she's got black cauldron. 
once again, black cauldron. She's got this linen, which is a 50 count. Painter's threads, more painter's threads. This is Nikki's Creations. This is a denim blue linen. I've never seen this color. More painter's threads. More Nikki's Creations. More painter's threads. Look at that beautiful color. And more Nikki's. Just a whole bunch just sitting in here. Uh, what is these pieces? I don't know. Just These just look... Not sure. See, I love to see what's buried in here. More of this 50 count linen that somebody made that's really lovely. More Christmas, we'll come back. We'll definitely come back. I don't know if you guys see these boxes. There's Sudbury and Lone Elm Lane. What a joy to have an actual shop to go to. There's nothing like picking your colors right in front of you, vividly. It looks like this pile from Nashville is lower. This is beautiful, called Peaceful Purple Linen. It's a beautiful color. This linen is printed. It is called, I don't know, but it is printed. It looks like a chain link fence. Let's see what kind of linen we have hiding in here. This is R&R &R French Vanilla. This is old style R&R. &R. Espresso, 28 count. French Vanilla, 28 count. This is some of the grungier kind of linen that I like to see. Old style R&R &R linen. Not the new stuff. Look at the, you can see the variegation. This is Fall Dragonfly by Mountain Air Fabrics. This is Tallulah by Seraphim Fabrics. Seraphim Fabrics I see, I've seen mentioned a few times. Now I get to see it in person. Just a pretty pink. This is also seraphim fabrics. These are lovely. This looks pretty much like what I make. <laughs> this is very close to what I make. So if you're interested in seraphim fabrics and actually seeing them, she has them here. $112 a yard, so that is a half yard would be 50 something dollars. Not it's it's very it's pretty much on the price that everybody has nowadays. Vellum, picture this plus. This is Dames of the Needle. Americana Froth, it's got a, Americana Froth is very pretty. It's got a little bit of a pink tinge, which I, I like pink linen. We've got, she's got this by Celts. This is some weeks, of course. She's got guacamole, periwinkle, uh, leeks, uh, well, it's red, I don't know. This is a bright, beautiful red linen. Let's see, we've got Stars Hollow Blend, Patriot Brew, Vintage Homespun, I love this, I bought this last time. And Vintage Beeswax, I, well, no, it was the Vintage Beeswax I bought, I love this color. This vintage beeswax is such a beautiful color. I think it looks a little dark here on the video, but it, it it's it's one of the nicest colors I've ever seen. And again, some of this is real grungy stuff. Winter Brew, a nice grungy piece, and it's on the stiff side, which is, I love. This is Weeks for sure. I think this is Straw. 
Uh, this is another Seraphim fabric called, and it's on the pink side, called Scout. Fabrics by Stephanie. More Weeks. This one is called Tin Roof. Of course, that's been around. These are some Zweigart printed linens. I like the, just so pretty with the, um, with the, uh, the beautiful snowflakes. I like the gray one better than the white one. In fact, that gray one's fabulous. I think I'm gonna take home a piece of that myself. Can't resist. Here is uh, some Dames of the Needle called Summer Fruit, and that is a summer fruit. It's bright, pretty, real pretty color, deep color. Mountain Air. This is all 36 count, oh no, 32 count. Egyptian Sand by Mountain Air. Title, I picture this plus. This is Arctic Sea by Mountain Air. Willow Green. Christmas Red. You hear people on the in the background. Ah, oh, there's some there's some lakeside linen. She's got. 40 count exemplar. Ooh. 40 count exemplar. This is the first lakeside I've seen here in a long time. I don't need it. I really don't, but Seraphim, this is May Day. It's grayish. Beautiful 40 count. Looks like a lot of the 40 count sold, but she's got exemplar two different pieces both these pieces look a little different there's a big piece here i think this is a half yard 63 dollars for this half yard very fair price 62 dollars for i guess that's the exemplar this is vintage exemplar no wonder looks like she's got a quarter yard left of this if anybody's interested in some exemplar 40 count she's got it it's hard to find Let's go back to Christmas in July because I'm going to show you some more Christmas charts that are sitting on this table, which means they're relatively new or absolutely new. Hands-on designs, merry and bright. New. Hands-on designs, which first? Hands-on designs, dear Santa. And this little Christmas ornament book. And Doggies in the Round by JBW. There's not another one. No, there's not another one like that. As a last treat today, we're just going to go to the fabrics and see if there's anything hidden in here. These are all 32, uh, excuse me, 28 count even weaves and linens, mostly linens. If I see anything that catches my eye, look at all these blingy linens. Beautiful colors. 32 count, all different colors. Oh, 32 count linens, quite a bit of 32 count. There's some 50 count. That's legacy linen. This is 50 count uh, sycamore seed pod. What a beautiful. I'm having issues, still issues seeing 50 count with my eyes. I was able to do it a few months ago. I'm sure I can do it again once my eye swelling goes down. But this is 46 count linen. 40 count. What's this 40 count piece? Let's see, this is sheep straw. I think this is beeswax. What is this, or is this just dark cobblestone? I'm not sure what, what that is. Okay, I gotta get off the floor. One more thing I think I can do is 
look in some of these vintage charts and see if there's anything here to show you. I don't know, it's gonna be hard to get to today. And I used to be able to deep, do deep knee bends and you name it, and now I'm feeling old. I don't really see anything in here that's Christmassy, so I think we'll forgo that. There is some Christmas trim. We'll just scan through here. Embroidery, which is getting more popular now. Okay, I think that's it, guys. We'll talk to you on the page. Are these samples and then you just go and pull the... No, no, you can...